72. Mm -hmm. Ben, welcome to the program. Hi, Dr. Laura. Really nice to talk Hi. to you. Thank you. What's up? Um, I have what's, uh, I think, a pretty quick and easy question. I just was really uh, loving your advice to the mom with the twin, the twin three-year-olds and the, the stickers and the competition, you know? Mm-hmm. And I wondered if you are someone such as myself with one three-year-old and competition can't be contingent on that. Is there something like that that you can do for just general, yeah. you know, doesn't want to go to the It's called with the clock. They, put on they compete shoes. against, they compete against a clock. If you can okay. get the dishes well, in there within five seconds, and here's the thing. Look at them. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So now I'm going to go three, two, one, start. If you get in the, you get a sticker. And if you get eight stickers a day, you get a special surprise out of this bag. Uh, okay, so it's still competition. Yeah, just against the clock. Yeah, just against we the clock. We humans are more motivated. More you know, if you're a runner, you tend to run faster if somebody's running next to you. Horses do the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I just couldn't click it in my head, and I, I knew you'd be able to. Thank you. Well, I hope that helped. It does. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. I like turning these things into fun. Okay, I'm going to count backwards to three. Let's go. Three, two, one, go. Get a sticker. Oh, my God. We have four. We just need three fingers more. Three, depending on their age. Three more. And then you get something out of the grab bag. Hey, eventually they just start doing it. Just like training dogs. The way I trained Lily is I had these little dog treats. Tiny little, they're tiny. And then I cut them in half with my fingers. I just cut them in half. And we go on a walk. And then I'll do various things. If she turns around to look at me, I go, good girl. She doesn't even, I didn't even give her a command. She discovered that if she keeps checking as to where I am, she gets a tiny little treat. And then cars pass. And in my neighborhood, I walk her off leash on purpose one, so she can act like a dog, go up and sniff everything. And number two, to gain control over her off-leash. So first you do it with a long line and all that stuff. So anyway, so I'll, if a car is coming all the way down the block, I go, stop. She turns around, looks at me and sits and doesn't move till the car passes. Then I give her, oh, you're such a good girl. And I give her another treat. Treat, 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 treat. You get to the point where I say stop, she just sits. No treat. I don't always give the treat. And she just does it out of familiarity. That's what she's supposed to do. She doesn't even think about it. It's like a reflex after a while. My number, 1-800-375-2872. Karen, 